Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about growing dwarf tomatoes, a micro tomato, and basically the smaller tomatoes. These are all determinate variety tomato plants, which means they're going to get to a set height, produce flowers over a short span, produce the fruit, and then they're going to die off. So these aren't like your indeterminate tomatoes that grow and grow. So they're perfect for small spaces. So let's just start with the setup. This is a two foot wide, six foot long raised bed. Any basic potting mix, raised bed soil, soil, you can make your own. Anything loose is perfectly fine. I set up the soil by putting in four or five handfuls of any organic granular fertilizer, mixing it in a good four to six inches deep. That set it up. When I put the plants in about 40 to 50 days ago as transplants, I watered them in with fish emulsion and they got fish emulsion again, I think about last week. So they're good to go fertilizer wise. They don't need a whole lot sun. So my sun tracks around this way and then it's over here predominantly. So I set it up that the majority of the sun's going to come in this way. So the smaller plants are up there in the front, bigger plants are in the back, and then I have two plants on the side. So we're going to go over the different plants in there. It'll give you some ideas of what maybe you'd like to grow. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons and then show you some other places I have these growing. There are 16 tomato plants in this small space all dwarf, all micro tomatoes, and this is great. You're going to get hundreds if not a thousand tomatoes off of there. So on the end, and I think there's maybe five varieties in here, we'll go over them. That's a patio choice yellow that will get 18 inches to 24 inches tall, and I think it's actually gotten past that 24 inches. So one thing to keep in mind is the tomatoes that are the dwarf and micros have a range. Sometimes they're going to get much taller, sometimes they're going to stay much smaller. So the patio choice, determinate variety, yellow cherry type tomato, I will get hundreds of tomatoes off that plant. Minimal staking, it'll stay about that size. I put one there, one on the end, plenty of sunlight coming in here. Let's get in and I'll show you the different plants that I'm growing. And you don't need crazy fertilizing for this. Like I said, I just set the soil up. You could put in compost, whatever you want and then water soluble when you put them in maybe three weeks later they should be good to go so from seed breaking the surface or transplants most of your dwarf type tomatoes micro tomatoes are going to take 45 days to 65 days to start producing fruit and i will do another video when i'm harvesting over there if you want to subscribe so let's just start over here on this side Patio Choice Yellow, and I put in a corner so you can see the size, how tall they're going to get. So this is a tiny Tim Tomato, 8 to 18 inches. I'm going to show you this in a vertical tower and in the container. And it's doing really, really well. Everything is nice and green. Tons of flowers. This is a heavy producer. I sell them at my seed shop, and I grow them every year. The rest of the plants are new. So this is a Siam Hybrid. You can see that it's already producing fruit. I do recommend this one at a good 14 inches, 18 inches. It's really compact. You can put this in vertical towers. You can even put them in flower boxes. So a nice flower box tomato would be the Siam hybrid. Tiny Tims can fit into a flower box, but you're going to have to water them a little bit more. This is out of place. This is a micro tom. This is a true micro tomato. Tomato gets six to eight inches, packed full of fruit perfect for a flower box you could probably put these you know what four inches apart and just do a whole flower box full of the micro toms and they'll great for a deck balcony or whatever so these are a little bit out of place here because the other plants even though they're smaller are going to shade this out geranium kiss 24 to 30 inches i have found this plant to be staying under two feet but what i like is it's nice and stocky these plants need minimal staking. This is a Lady Bing hybrid. It's already producing fruit. And when you're selecting different dwarf tomatoes, you know, varying times of fruiting is good. This way you don't get everything at once. So, and I like, I'm going to keep growing the Geranium Kiss, Lady Bing. And you can see that they would be perfect to stay really in this type of raised bed. Another Geranium Kiss. The Lady Bings are all back here because they're going to get a little bit taller. And I kind of just repeated the pattern. Microtom, Geranium, Microtom, Tiny Tim's, Geranium Kiss. You get the idea. But these are doing really well. 16 plants 
in a small space, easy to tend, easy to care for. Disease and pests aren't so much an issue with the dwarf varieties, the micro varieties, even in the, the uh, general determinate type tomatoes, because they grow, they fruit, you harvest, and then they die off. And they usually get through any kind of disease issue. So if you're having problems in your garden with the indeterminate tomatoes, getting diseases like uh, early blight in July and they just don't do well, grow determinate tomatoes. You can grow them early, start them in the spring after frost. When they start dying out in July, put in another round of determinate varieties and that will take you into September. And I'll just keep, do a slow pass if you want to just check out the names. I know people like to keep lists and how tall the plants get. Okay, let's go over to some of the some of the other places I have these planted. Now this is my vertical tower garden. These are green stalk towers. I'm affiliated with them. If you are interested, check out the video uh, description and you can get a discount by using my code. These are absolutely wonderful for growing plants in. They have UV protection, really deep pockets. Each container size holds, each container level holds seven gallons of material. So you can do something like this. You can grow your dwarf tomatoes in a tower. Um, I will link the video showing you how I planted these up and um, grew basil in there with them. Up at the top, Tiny Tim, they're a little bit yellow, just gave them some fertilizer. Sometimes in containers, they use up fertilizer more quickly, nitrogen more quickly, just give them some fish emulsion. Tiny Tim, so you put the smaller ones up top because you don't want the heavier weight up top to topple it over. So smaller tomato plants up top, perfect for the micro tomatoes. That's the Siam hybrid. Working my way down, this is... That one is the Geranium Kiss. So we're growing that in the other place too. And it's beautiful. It fits really well in there. You do need to stake them in here because they're going to hang over. And what I thought it was is a better bush. This is a better bush. Thicker, meatier tomatoes, not the cherry type. If you want to grow something a little more substantial, you can grow those in containers too. Bush variety, dwarf type. Stays nice and small, but larger tomatoes. And then tucked around there, micro tom, and all the plants that I just showed you. I'll just give a quick spin. Let's see how I can do this to stay, keep my shadow off here. There's a micro tom, tiny tim. Here's the patio. This is a patio variety, not like the patio choice, but this is one gets about two feet. Perfect. And you can just see how the bigger tomato plants are on the bottom to keep everything from toppling over. But you can grow your micro tomatoes, your dwarf tomatoes, and even some determinants. They may get to three feet, maybe a little bit taller in these types of containers. Okay, a couple more places. These are flower boxes that I made. These were actually growing radishes, harvested them all. Last year, I had some tiny Tim tomatoes growing in here, and some of them fell and, you know, just rotted right on the surface. And, of course, a couple tiny Tims have popped up. Just starting to flower. This is perfect. Nice depth. If you can get to, you know, six inches deep in your flower pots, that's best. But these aren't really wide, so you don't need a lot of soil. Just keep them watered, and you can just do a nice flower box full of the micro tomatoes. Again, Tiny Tim is a little bit more the dwarf side because it gets can get to 16, 18 inches. But the micro toms would go perfect in here, all the way down the line. And let me just show you, last one, a couple containers of determinate types if you want to grow something a little bit bigger in containers. This is an extra container I had put in two Tiny Tim plants about hmm, 60 days ago. So they're starting to produce now. I've taken some cherry tomatoes off there. But it's two plants, that's a 22 gallon container, and you can see that it's just loaded with cherry tomatoes. Real easy to manage, doesn't require a ton of water, perfect for small spaces and for decks. There are lots of ways you can grow the micro tomatoes, the dwarf tomatoes, and the dwarf tomatoes are really Everything's a, a determined variety tomato, but the dwarf tomatoes are ones that stay about 24 inches or less. That's how they get the designation as dwarf. Now, a lot of your determinate tomatoes will get to about 36 inches. You can use a four to five gallon pot. These are root pouches. I sell these at my seed shop. And this is a cherry falls. So it'll get about 24 inches 
30 inches and it'll just kind of cascade over, produce a lot of these beautiful grape tomatoes. You don't need a lot of space, you don't need a lot of soil for the determinant types, especially the dwarf and the microtypes. So that may be something you want to do in your space. They're easy to take care of and they're really, really productive. A lot of the hybrids and a lot of people, you know, cross-pollinating and creating these in a safe, normal way. They're not GMOs, there's no GMO tomatoes out there. Really focus on the plant staying compact but producing a ton of fruit. So they're a lot of fun. Hope you give them a try. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. I'll be doing videos on everything you see in my garden. Thanks for watching.